I didn't know I was going to be famous. I just thought I was destined for something great and something amazing. And I always knew I was special and a star and something was going to happen. How do I manage <laughs> to be this hot? <laughs> the key to being hot <laughs> is Photoshop. <laughs> The true question is not how I became famous, but how I became rich. I'm gonna be a superstar. And did I lie? Did I lie? Did I lie? On 24th November 2023, Elsa Majimbo posted on her Twitter that I'll pay a thousand dollars to anyone who can produce a video of me saying the words, I hate Kenya. As I speak, no one has produced that particular video, which makes me ask, why do Kenyans hate Elsa Majimbo to the point of making her relocate to another country? Elsa Majimbo has been heard several times saying that Kenyans are bullies and they hate her for no apparent reason. Now, through one of her TikTok videos, Majimbo expressed her experiences of being subjected to demeaning comments about her skin tone while growing up in Kenya. She added that she faced discrimination and negativity due to her dark skin, which makes me ask questions. How can a black man call another black man black? The perfect example of the pot calling the kettle black. There was a lot of... When things started going well for me, there was a lot of backlash on me and just a lot of colorist things were said towards me and surprisingly it was people from Kenya who were doing that and they were bullying me on the internet and they were hell bound on my failure it was so insane it was absurd the, the rest of the world was cheering me on Kenya was praying for my downfall she first went viral in South Africa because Kenyans were not ready to accommodate Elsa Majimbo or let's say she has an expensive sense of humor. And Kenya is a third world country. We can't understand expensive jokes. She loves South Africa so much that her Twitter username has a South Africa flag attached to it. Anyway, she's that one celebrity that people love to hate, hate to love. She's not your typical content creator like the ones in Kenya who are fond of making tribal jokes about Luya's, Kisis or Kikuyu's. Don't save. Spend. Why cook when you can order? Versace, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, buy them all because you don't discriminate. What if the money ends? It's not brokenness. It's motivation to work. <laughs> she makes content for a global audience. And these jokes are about her life, bragging how she spends money or lives her life, which has made her earn the name professional bragger. Sorry, I was looking for humility. <laughs> Even as a child, she knew she was destined for greatness and resolved to become extremely wealthy. I have a type. They are called rich. <laughs> if you're one of Elsa Majimbo's haters, do you know she makes 60 million Kenyan shillings annually? She has met early celebrities like Steve Harvey, Naomi Campbell, Anderson Cooper, Beyonce, and maybe in the future, she'll meet me, the biggest YouTuber from Kenya. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, or South Africans will subscribe. <laughs> I know you don't want that, so subscribe. Also remember, I have an M-Pesa and PayPal account, so send something to motivate me. And for the ones who have already supported this channel by M-Pesa, prayers and subscribing, I am forever grateful. Let's get into the video. I will show you what I'm wearing today. What I'm wearing today. What I'm wearing today. This is Elsa Majimbo for you. You might not like her sense of fashion or her content, but she's used to the hate. She's the living example of manifesting your dreams with words. But let's first start here. Who is Elsa Majimbo and what does she do? We should meet up. We should have lunch. We, 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 we. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you know a 
will make an excuse. Do you just like hearing fake stories? <laughs> Are they fun for you? <laughs> we haven't seen each other in a long time. <laughs> I'm surviving. <laughs> Her internet story begins during the COVID-19. As the world was on lockdown, Elsa was making these particular videos in her bedroom. She did not have much, just a sense of humor, her glasses, and a bag of crisps. I've worked for 15 minutes. I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm not a machine. <laughs> really just grinding on the daily. Everyday slaving, everyday labor. I'm just a hard worker. The videos were not of the best quality, and her hair was unkempt. This is because at the time she was poor and was using an iPhone 6 to shoot her content. Instagram bio once read, my YouTube is low quality, unedited and shot from an iPhone 6. You should subscribe. At first her father wanted her to stop but after earning a fast salary, he changed his mind. Typical African behavior. Now this Kenyan content creator who goes by the name Chebetrono came out claiming that Elsa Majimbo stole a style of doing comic videos. I'm calling everybody out. Kid actress, stop copying me. Elsa Majimbo, stop copying me. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're out of, you're out of, you're out of material? Deep this, deep this. I think we give the devil too much credit. Now hear me out. People be in court saying the devil made me do this. Actually, ignore the court. Your boyfriend. <laughs> when he played your fool, he said Satan used him. There's some truth to this, so continue watching and listening to this particular video as I investigate these allegations. As per Elsa Majimbo's YouTube channel, she posted her first video on December 4th, 2019. It's also the same time she started posting these videos on Instagram. On the other hand, Chebetrono first posted on YouTube on December 2018 and on her Instagram in March 2018. So, a year later, Elsa Majimbo begins making these videos with the same style of comedy. But is this proof that Elsa Majimbo stole Rono's style of doing comedy? Maybe, maybe not. Because according to Elsa, she began making videos for friends in 2016 but had stopped until 2019. Then, with spare time on her hands because of the pandemic and her university semester coming to a close, she started making her own videos. I've worked for 10 minutes. Hard work is my passion. <laughs> Hard work is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> At first, she was using both English and Swahili in her videos. But since she was aiming for a bigger audience, she used English oftenly. She was able to grow her TikTok and Instagram account by delivering content that perfectly painted her desires without sugarcoating or trying to look humble are seen in pop culture today. As kids were very daring and yet she managed to remain very hilarious. This is partly because the things she was saying were contrasting with how she appeared, making a comedy even more entertaining. I didn't spend 18 years in school for education. I did it so I can afford Louis Vuitton. <laughs> it was about going to Dubai. <laughs> I'm not too sure about the process, but I know. <laughs> I'll be a billionaire. <laughs> Our first skit came at the time she had no money and was performing badly in school. Yet she made a video describing how you need to speak to her manager before you book an appointment with her. She also firmly stated in the video that she didn't go looking for fame. Fame came looking for me. To such videos that made fans fall in love with Elsa happen. Majimbo. And when the first... Um, video went viral i wasn't even looking to have a career in like entertainment or media i just really did not want to ever go back to school so i was like okay this is a loophole this is something else i can do and i got into it and now here we are she says the persona in a comedic videos is not an alter ego but her true self however it is not the side that she shows to her family her breakthrough came during the pandemic in 2020 after a friend sent her a screenshot of her videos going viral in South Africa. In an interview with a South African publication in 2020, Elsa Majimbo said that South Africans were the first people from Africa that showed her massive love. 
not even our own country Kenya. As a result, she made this statement saying, always go where people accept you, always go where people love you, like South Africans. As South Africans were enjoying her content, some Kenyans did not like the content. Remember this is where she comes from and they are not still happy about her content. This is according to Kenyans on X or Twitter. Let's have a look at those tweets, just to make you understand. Elsa Majimbo is not funny in Kenya and her stale humor can't be dragged down our throats. Mm. I've never seen anyone try to shame and eat on their country as hard as Elsa Majimbo does. Elsa Majimbo is a Kienyeji Pro Max in my book. Oh, that is very painful. You must be sick if you find Elsa Majimbo attractive. Wow. But as these people are busy hating on Elsa Majimbo, other great people showed her love. Rihanna is one of them. Elsa Majimbo even said that she went global courtesy of Rihanna. In February 2021, Majimbo shared a letter Rihanna sent her at the beginning of her career. She shared the letter while celebrating the singer's 33rd birthday. Elsa, you are a buddy and you know it. And your reel was fire. Love, Rihanna, aka your childhood friend. She posted on Instagram saying, Riri sent me this letter at the beginning of my career. It has given me immense support and good advice. That same month, Majimbo also got another surprise from Beyonce. Hello, Elsa. It's Beyonce. Welcome. Along my hair journey, I've experienced it all, and I look forward to sharing it with you. I wish I could be there tonight, but I'm a little bit tied up in one of my favorite sacred spaces where you will join me later. <laughs> Y'all ready to run up the night? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> Just before receiving a gift from Beyonce, Elsa Majim also announced another partnership with Valentino, and she wore Valentino on the cover of Teen Vogue. She shared this news on her Instagram saying, On Tuesday, I was wearing Valentino on the cover of Teen Vogue. Valentino also posted saying Valentino is proud to announce a special project with writer, actor and comedian Elsa Majimbo. Now look at how the god of Elsa Majimbo was of a working day and night. I'm not done yet. Her monologues have been featured on Comedy Central several times. She has partnered with Fenty, Logitech, Beats by Dre, IMG Models, Cork, Bumble, and more. She has been applauded by celebrities such as Naomi Campbell, Lupita Nyong'o, Joan Smalls, Anderson Cooper, Snoop Dogg, and Casper Nyovest from South Africa. She has appeared on Steve on Watch, a Facebook web TV talk show hosted by Steve Harvey. And Steve Harvey made a promise to adopt Elsa Majimbo and pledged to treat Majimbo as his own niece, guide her, and provide whatever she may need in life. Now, this is what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to adopt you as my niece. I'm going to give you my phone number. I don't care what you need. If you need anything, you need a place to go, you need some help, you need some advice, you want to talk to somebody, you call me. I, and I, I'm serious, and I, I don't want to let nothing happen to you. Because, you know, it's been one of my main goals is to bridge the gap between Africa and, and, and African Americans. If you've never been, you have to go. But you know what I love most about it? It's the first time in my life, in 60 some years, that I wake up in the morning and, I, and I'm not a minority. It's crazy. It's an incredible place. Elsa has been featured by Forbes and made it to the Forbes 30 and 30 class of 2023 and was the youngest person in it. She graced the covers of Verified Harper's Bazaar, GQ South Africa, and Mason Valentino campaigns. She was also a keynote speaker for the 2022 She Believes Summit. She featured in some of the biggest international media outlets, including CNN, The Guardian, New York Times, just to mention a few. She won Entertainer of the Year awards 
for both GQ South Africa and Forbes Woman Africa, and there's still more. In just three years, she has achieved the impossible, and she's certain that one day she'll be a movie star in Hollywood. I moved to um, I moved to LA, obviously, so I got very much into the Hollywood space and. Now I'm starting to do my movies and my TV shows and my series. And I'm so excited. You're going to see me on the big screen. You're going to see me on the big screen. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Just make that Hollywood money. Yeah. <laughs> so with all these achievements, why do people, or let me say, why do Kenyans hate this girl? Elsa Majimbo has said many things that have offended Kenyans especially Kenyans on X or Twitter. Remember, these are the same people that chased their president, Uhuru Kenyatta, out of X. So who the heck is Elsa Majimbo? In 2021, Elsa Majimbo angered Kenyans when she claimed that she felt safer in South Africa, where she has a home than in Kenya. Just imagine. When things started going well for me, there was a lot of backlash on me and just a lot of colorist things were said towards me. and. Surprisingly, it was people from Kenya who were doing that and they were bullying me on the internet and they were hell-bound on my failure. It was so insane. It was absurd. The, the rest of the world was cheering me on. Kenya was praying for my downfall. So when I got the chance, I parked my bags and I left immediately and I never looked back. I'll go to like see my family, but I left and I left and I'm never going back. This year, Elsa Majimbo also angered Kenyans after claiming that money had changed her and appearing to make fun of her haters and followers alike. During an interview with Forbes, Elsa said she does not identify with one country, even though she's Kenyan, and this is because she views all of Africa as a home. To her Kenyans are toxic. That's why she moved from Nairobi to Los Angeles, where she fits perfectly. She told Forbes that she loves everything about Los Angeles particularly its materialistic and beautiful nature. Um, I moved to LA last year in September. And what's that transition been like? Oh, it's been great. I love LA. It's amazing. It's so good. I love LA. The palm trees, the yoga, the G-wagons, smoothies. Oh, I love this place. And you know, just like, and I always say this, like just how materialistic LA is materialistic and fake and everything is about I love that it's just it's so beautiful you know <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's so, so amazing most Kenyans never really liked her content the content was clearly not Kenyan friendly as most Kenyans are used to mediocre content jokes that are based on tribal and stereotypical jokes and here was Elsa Majimbo sounding like a foreigner which is not bad and manifesting Fenty and Balenciaga, we could not relate. Don't save. Spend. Why cook when you can order? Versace, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, buy them all because you don't discriminate. What if the money ends? It's not brokenness. It's motivation to work. <laughs> According to Elsa Majimbo, comedy in Kenya is based on self-hatred. And those who are considered funny in Kenya are those who make fun of their horrible experiences. My kind of comedy, you know, it's universal because most of my comedy is picked out from American and European culture. So yeah. most Kenyans, yeah, the, the comedy in Kenyan is mostly, you know, in Swahili and it's about tribes and it's about what's happening in the country. And that's not mm. my comedy. My comedy is universal it's about what's happening in the world not just in kenya so kenyans enjoy a different type of comedy so there is a comedy scene here but it's not for me even though she has been a victim of circumstances for a long time she's glad she has leveled up she's not the old naive and humble elsa so if you try dissing elsa she'll ignore you and continue making money as you make memes. I'm a very quiet person. I don't like confrontation. That back then, now I will come for you. And that made me know how to play the game. Because if you don't play the game, the game will play you and it will play you badly. Now, away from the negativity, Elsa Majimbo has done some really good things. 
At the age of 20, as you are dancing to a piano, she asked her business manager to withdraw $500,000, which translates to 69 million Kenyan shillings from her bank accounts to give her away to charity. According to her, she could not justify earning that much money to support her lifestyle. This was a way to bless other people, which is commendable. Also, Majimbo is still doing great things in her career and to other people, and we should focus on that. What she decides to dress, who she decides to talk to, and where she decides to live is none of our business. And I wish nothing but the best to Elsa Majimbo. Maybe one day we'll meet in Los Angeles because Kenya is toxic.